In this Canva tutorial, let's take a quick look at how to add elements to your Canva design. So here on the left-hand side, we have a lot of different tabs, and one of those tabs is called Elements. If we click on Elements, we can see a lot of different elements that we can add. Anything from shapes to graphics to photos and even videos and audio samples. If we click up here, we can search Elements, and you can see that there's different categories here, and these are all the different categories of elements that we have. So for instance, if you wanted to add an element like a star, we could type in the word star and press the return key or enter. Now we see our different categories again, shapes, graphics, photos, etc. So we can choose which one we want. For instance, a shape would be just a vector shape, so like a vector element. We could click see all to see all the different star shapes. We have a few here. You might even find more in the graphics section. So up here we have the categories again, and you could just click over to graphics, and we're gonna see all the star graphics. Some of these can be vector elements, and some of them are bitmap or photo elements. I like this star right here. I'm gonna just click and drag this element out here into my design. And now I can then scale it up and down pretty easily. And if it is a vector element, you'll notice element properties up here. So for instance, I could edit the color of this, by using any of these photo colors or default colors, or if I wanted to keep it as black and white, I could just leave it as is. So we could scale that down and put that out here uh, just to the right of Stay Inspired as just another little element or piece here in our design. Now there's so many different elements. You could go to photos, you know, we have pictures of stars. If you ever see the little crown icon, that's Canva Pro. You can try Canva Pro for free with a link in the description but Canva Pro gives you access to tens of thousands of elements, everything from graphics to photos to videos, shapes, etc., all copyright free if you have that Canva Pro subscription. But you can also come through here and find little elements that are not uh, Canva Pro required, so these are free elements. But the Canva Pro ones will have that little crown next to them. You'll notice a lot of them throughout here, so there's a lot of elements that you can use for free, but there's also a ton more that you can use with Canva Pro. And that's how you can add elements to your design here in Canva.